Now, all throughout our discussion of security, we ran into the topic of an application pool, an IIS application pool. Let's just go over this again briefly. Uh, web applications like SharePoint, they tend to allow a segregation of the activities of the different websites, web applications, into what are called application pools. It's a feature of IIS, the web servers that Microsoft produces. So the application pools allow uh, resources to be uh, essentially uh, isolated from each other so that if you've got three different web pages or websites hosted within one computer and uh, an application fails on one, it doesn't bring all three down. Now the worker process runs for the application pool is going to run this executable called w3wp.exe. It runs one of those for each application pool. So if you've got, as I said, three different web sites uh, with the different application pools, you'll see three instances of this. Now these application pools uh, can be configured so that they recycle automatically. In fact, Microsoft recommends it. And I believe at one point the default was that these would be uh, reset every day at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but that, of course, depends on what uh, how you've configured IIS. So these application pools, though, can be recycled, recycled automatically. It's not a bad uh, idea. You'd want to do that at a point uh, when, um, hopefully, when nobody's using the software. So typically, we do that around 3 or 4 in the morning, something like that, uh, so that, uh, you know, hopefully there's nobody who's, uh, critically looking at something in RT web parts at that time because briefly while that recycles you're going to see data unavailable. It'll happen for a few seconds and then the reconnection will be made once the application pool is restarted again. Now that application pool reset or recycle can be based on a certain interval of time or a certain uh, hard time, an actual time stamp, you know like 3 in the morning, or it could be based on memory usage. So. That's uh, that's a troubleshooting option that's available to you. Let me demonstrate where you would go in to do that. This is done within IIS Manager, so it's under Administrative Tools. And as we've seen before, within IIS Manager, you can find your website, and within that website, the different application pools in effect on that website. The one we're interested in, interested in is SharePoint. I'll go ahead and look at its properties. And here's the recycling. As you can see, this is set. So in this case, it's going to reset every morning at 2.27 in the morning. But you could also base this on the number of requests or the maximum virtual memory. So there's a variety of reset options available to you. Now, since this is the discussion on troubleshooting, it's probably a good time to remind you that there are some trusts required for the application pool identity. And you'll find those trusts described again at the bottom of the notes section on this slide right here. You'll also find this if you go to the section of the RT Web Parts Administrator Guide. This is the application pool identity section in the installation guide. And it explains what is required of these trusts. And basically, you need to allow the application pool identity or whatever Windows user is associated with that if it's been set to configurable. You need to have a trust that allows read access to all the Py tags and modules that are going to be used. Of course, this is just a brief reminder about something that was covered in much greater detail in the section on security.